it's very rustic, it's open, it's a restaurant where the whole family can come, kids, grandmas, uh, big tables, family style, uh, it's outdoors where we cook with a lot of wood fire, we have wood fire ovens, grills, and so on. Finca Altazano is in the heart of the valley, surrounded by vineyards and a beautiful vegetable garden. Not only the outdoor, indoor restaurant that he has here, he has this pop-up, coffee, sandwiches, stop in, in an old uh, a train trailer. And next to that, his next adventure of a beautiful sit-down, 10-course dinner under 200-year-old oak tree. There is a serene feeling here that totally depicts who Chef Javier is. His sense of calmness and super professionalism is kind of embedded in every element of his setup here. I think the Valle flavors, it's very rustic, it's very Mexican, but Mexico from this side, like very northern Mexico. It's got a lot of surf and turf because we're so close to the ocean. We have the Pacific Ocean only 15 minutes from here. So we have a lot of produce from, you know, the oysters and sea urchins and tunas and fish and clams. So you blend those with with what we have here in the valley, like cheeses, lamb, goats. Grilled meats, quail, seafood, innovative. Actually, I hate to use the word vegetarian, but his use of vegetables is so creative, so wonderful. So today we made one of our top two sellers, which is Pulpo Las Brasas, which is an octopus. He gets the octopus, it has to be from a warm water source because then the octopus is inherently softer. He cooks it, he smokes it, and then he throws it on the grill. But I think the highlight of the dish is not the octopus per se, which was delicious and melt in your mouth. It was the Asian sauce that he really served with it. And it's an Asian tweak because he finished it with butter. But the ponzu with ginger and lemongrass and mirin, there is all this Japanese influence in the area that we've seen in the scene, but I have not yet seen in the food so predominantly as we've seen in that dish. It's a take on uh, all the Asian influence that we have here in Baja California. So being here in this region, in this space, outdoors, with the, with the smoke and the firewood, everything, it's a really tasty dish that people really love. People come here to the valley, to the valle, to eat uh, uh, either lamb or quail or goat. And here the quail is very, very popular, so we just marinate it with lemon and oregano, sea salt, bay leaves, uh, garlic and onion, then we grill it. And it's very simple, but the mesquite, that's what gives it the flavor. And then we put a little bit of the limoneta, which is lemon juice with olive oil and a little bit of oregano. And we saute a little bit of chard or kale, whatever you have in the garden that day. And that's how we serve it. And you, you eat it with, uh, with your hands. And with some salsa, we put some uh, little bit of beans uh, on the side. And flour tortillas or corn tortillas or fresh baked bread that we do here in house. It's just great. He weaved in his dishes, in his menu, elements that I have not seen here yet. A little bit more of a interesting fusion of cuisine that I guess that's the new Mexican cuisine really reflecting what Baja is. Here we're very young, so we're just making it uh, as we speak. And uh, I think that's, that's what's great about it, about being a cook in this time. We can be very creative, but we still have to be careful on how we're going to take this cuisine and where we want to go. And we have so many ingredients that we're still learning about them. Uh, I will advise you just to get to know the producer, get to know the fishermen, get to know everybody that produces something, get to know, and just being very creative and tasting and tasting and talking to producers, and that's how we roll here. 